Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And today's tutorial, we're going to continue working with functions, but I'm going to introduce something a little different, and it's called a generator function. Now, the look, the feel, and um, the overall structure of the function of a generator function is the same as a regular function, all right? But the execution is a little different. And what I mean by that is when we run a normal function, we're returned um, all the values at once and then we exit the function. Well, that's not the case for generator function functions. Generator functions will run through the function and it will add the value to an iterator object, which we looked at, looked at a while back. Um, it, and then it, the uh, generator function will wait it will be in a um, mode of standby, if you will, it would, standing by, all right? And what Python does is it allots some memory for these generators to um, be ready to run immediately when called upon. So it puts the value in an iterator object, and then it will wait until it's called again. And when it's called again, it's going to run through the function again and return another value. All right. And the way we decipher between a regular function and a generator function is a regular function function has the return um, expression at the end, where in um, with the generator function, we use yield. So less talking, more coding. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> I'm going to create you guys a f basic function first, a normal function, if, I, if you will. And we're going to say multi, all right? And we're going to pass the value of our parameter of x oh, I got something in my eye all right and then we're gonna say for a in x and then we're gonna say total is equal to a times two now that's a very simple um, function there and then we're gonna say yep yeah, we're doing normal first so we're gonna return total all right and we're going to come down and we're just going to call multi. And what I want to do is pass a list here. So we're going to say one, two, three, four, and five. And close out our list and close out our function call. And we get two. So what happened here? <clears throat> Basically, we passed uh, the list in. And what happened was for a in x, it ran through and returned total. Okay. <clears throat> Cool. Um, but what happens if we use yield or a generator function? Let's go ahead and do define multi. So we're just going to take the same exact function. All right. And we're going to say uh, for a in x, just like that. We're going to say total is equal to a times two. And then we're going to say re oh, yield, yield, oops, yield, like that. And we're going to say yield total. All right, then we're going to come down and I'm just going to say uh, M is equal to multi and I'm going to pass in my list of we'll do one, two, three, four, and five again. Close out my list, close out my function call and then we're going to say next M just like this. Boom, two. If I go next. So what happened was the function ran. All right, it went through. It ran the function. It remembers where where it was at. All right, and then now it's in a a, uh, a position of standby, if you will, and it's waiting for us to call it again. So if we call it again, if I just push up, we get four. All right. Now if I call it again, we'll get six, and if I call it one more time, we'll get eight. So basically, what it's doing is waiting, and it remembers where it's at. And when we call it, it runs the next, um, it runs through the function again. So that's the basics of the generator function. Now, in the next couple of tutorials, we'll be going through this and looking at this all a little bit more closer. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.